Hi, Adam Bazalgette, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, golf drills with alignment rods. So golf drills with alignment rods, these can be handy. Most of them you'll need two rods for. I'll show you five drills that I think will really help you not only build a good golf game, but maintain it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. ScratchGolfAcademy.com is my home website. Let's get started. All right, our first two drills are both alignment related. One's intermediate, this one, and the next one's the more advanced level. Just put two sticks down. I've got plenty of space for the bottom of my swing. Not even that necessary to hit the ball in reality, but it gives me a very clear target line. Here's the mistake people make. They aim themselves too much. Nobody that's a great player does that. They all aim the golf club, much easier to do with these sticks then all they do is aim themselves towards the golf club or parallel to that line, if you like. Much easier to do, of course, when there's an obvious line there. So once you've put the club in place and felt like you're directly aiming at these sticks, then have a look up. Most chances you'll find you're aimed more to the left or more to the side of the target than, you, than what you're used to. Train your eye, that's what you should be doing. Let's have a look at the advanced version. All right, the more advanced version. I've put two rods forming a little alleyway there, maybe a couple of yards in front of the golf ball. Jack Nicklaus, by the way, famous for a lot of things, used to pick a spot on the ground about that far ahead and used it as an intermediate target, something for him to aim the club at and then work his way out. So it's similar to that. But I like this drill because it does a couple of things. It forces you, it doesn't give you all the reminders right by the golf ball. So it forces you to be a little bit more in tune with where you're lining up the club and it creates more of a sense that you'll have on the golf course where you've really got to take responsibility for the club alignment. Couple of things, step in with your trail foot when you do this. You'll always have better vision when you do that. Once you've brought your left shoulder and foot up, you're not going to see so well forward. So trail foot, line the club up, then place your feet, then you're fairly well ready to go. Another thing I like about this drill is if you're hitting range balls, you can hit within a reasonably you know, moderate amount of space, 15, 18 shots before you have to move the sticks because you have a decent slot there to hit from. Great training for your pre-shot. Our next drill involves takeaway. That's Justin Thomas on the left. I've drawn a line up the club shaft, one on the target line. Beautiful takeaway, just right up that line there. Rory McIlroy here, he'll go just a touch above it, which I recommend most people air towards too much below it, but you can see the same general idea now, if you're interested in solid strike, I've got a whole course on that. It's free for you down in the description box. Help yourself there. A word of caution here. Many times when people start to try to re-sculpt their takeaway, they take these little control muscles and they start to place the club. You're not going to do well like that. You have to feel a certain flow of motion and just be aware of where the club is, if you like. Now, here's how to customize the drill. I've set this stick in there at the angle. This is my seven on of the club I'm going to use. What I would do is I'd put it in a little steeper and then bend it back till you feel like it matches up. And I've placed the second rod on what would be the target line. Now, if my problem is taking the club too much to the inside, that's pretty common. I want to set up with the club or the imaginary ball slightly on the outside of this. So my plane would be just above it a little bit. Now, I would caution you against just whacking a full shot because you could hit yourself, but work your takeaway a little bit like this. Conversely, if I tend to take the club too far outside, I'd want to go a little bit on the near side of that so that my takeaway is going to be underneath that. Couple of little words that might help you here. If you tend to be too upright in your backswing, the odds are you're probably not using your pivot and you're lifting the club too much. Try to feel your arms stay lower to the ground, calmer, more connected. Use your pivot more, that will draw the club back in. Conversely, if you're the one taking it to the inside, you're probably using your hands too much and whipping the club head too much. Feel that the club head is more passive and stays more in front of you, lagged a little bit more like if you like in your takeaway. That'll help cure that. Okay, next drill. I've got the rod in the ground at an angle. The ball's a couple of inches in underneath there. I can easily hit it and swing here. What this is great for is for you to be able to tell whether or not you move as you start the club back, indeed throughout your swing. Let me show you what that would look like from the golfer's view. So if you move while you're swinging, you are gonna notice a distinct change in the relationship of the stick and the golf ball. Obviously, if that doesn't change, you're staying pretty still. Okay, I use this drill in lessons all the time. Here's a word of caution, because I see this with a lot of golfers. By the time they get the ball there and they whack that thing and they're, they're so revved up about outcome and what they're trying to do, they frankly have no recollection or no sense of whether they moved or not, despite the stick. 
If you're going to get good at golf, you have to be able to put your attention where you want to put it, regardless of the golf ball or whatever else is out there. So have the poise when you do this drill to relax your mind and just pay attention to what's going on. It'll really help you. One other little thing for this as well, this is great for little chips and pitches around the green. So you don't have to have a green and a target there. Set this up on the range, get your wedge, pitch some balls. Wonderful way to keep yourself still. All right, let's have a look at one here for the hip movement in the backswing. So I've got this in the ground, slightly sloped inwards. I'm going to get my ankle close to it. I've got this much room or so. Tells me if I'm bumping laterally. Now, let me just say, I'm not a big fan of putting a golf ball under the outside of your feet or wedging the foot in or something to prevent the knee from sliding. If you pivot properly, you're not going to have this problem. In a proper golf pivot, as the right side goes back, the right glute actually goes behind you a little bit. So really, you should see even a slight increase of space here. And if you're not doing it, if you're bumping into the, the shaft there, work on your pivot till it's the proper way. Don't do anything too artificial with your right foot. One other little word of caution, if you wind up having too much space over here, you probably need to pivot a little bit steeper and not so flat. And you'll see that will reduce that space. So I hope that helps you with golf drills with alignment rods. Work on these things, they'll help your game. Have some fun with them. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like the video. ScratchGolfAcademy.com is my home website. Thank you.